As we come to the end of another school year and prepare to celebrate Christmas, it's timely to reflect on our work in enhancing formation and improving the learning outcomes for each of our students and for ensuring our teachers and staff have a professional and rewarding working life. Our shared focus for the year on learning by inquiring has guided our collective efforts in building our capacity, reflecting on and refining our practice and sharing our work through collaboration and professional learning. We were privileged too to have a number of visiting experts to help us in our work and these include Archbishop Bruce Ayres, Andy Hargraves, Michael Fulham, Marco Torres and many others and teachers in our schools who inspire and continue to stretch us. I've been pleased to see our teachers and leaders engage with the ideas and take advantage of these opportunities because this is how we go from I know to we learn and how we go about improving the whole system. And while many things can happen in the course of a school year that can distract us, and I don't want to name the obvious ones, I'm proud to say that these detractors do not get in the way of the core work of our schools. I continue to marvel at the innovation in learning and teaching with the creative use of technologies and our built environments. Our school communities continue to grow and we have had some outstanding results across the spectrum. We know now that our schools are truly Catholic in their endeavours. This year we celebrated our Silver Jubilee, 25 years of Catholic education in the Diocese of Parramatta. It's been a wonderful time to reflect on the contribution we've made as part of the evangelising mission of the Church. We're part of a story and an enduring legacy of Catholic schooling in Greater Western Sydney dating back now for nearly 200 years. This milestone is also a reminder that the work we do is so much bigger than ourselves. While the world continues to rapidly change and our roles as teachers must continue to adapt to meet the needs of this and next generations of learners, there's one thing that doesn't change. It is the very reason why our schools exist, to bring the good news to the world and a personal encounter with Jesus through our work and in our relationships with our students and with each other. While we know that in the new year there will be inevitably be challenges to face, we can look forward with hope, knowing that we are well equipped for whatever comes, sustained and nurtured by our faith in God and the birth of Christ of the Christ child. Thank you for the work you've done this year, and I wish you and your families a very happy and a holy Christmas.